This video will show how to delete a web page from your site that you no longer want online or need in your website file structure. In this tutorial, we'll delete the Junior Master Gardener page, which is a child page under Master Gardener, which is a child page under a and &R. In our Master Gardener content, we also link to the Junior Master Gardener page and a PDF brochure file. Let's open the Junior Master Gardener page. This is a warning. Once you delete a page, it is not possible to get it back. Make certain that you are actually viewing the correct page before clicking Delete Page. In the Sidekick Page options, click Delete Page. The Delete Page warning will pop up. Click Yes. Now, usually a page will delete with no problem. The text link disappears from the local navigation, and you're done. However, in this case, a delete page reference warning pops up, notifying us that the page is referenced. That means the page is currently linked from some other page within the site. Well, we link to this page from our Master Gardener page. At this point, it's better to cancel the delete page and go find and remove those links. Otherwise, you'll have broken links on the referring page. However, if you choose to force delete the Junior Master Gardener page now by clicking Yes, you can. But remember to edit the referring page that was linking to the deleted page to avoid those broken links. We won't force delete. Instead, Let's cancel delete page and return to our Master Gardener page. Here we see the link to the JMG website page, as well as the link to the JMG informational brochure. Since we're completely deleting the JMG page, we can edit this page and simply delete the section of text referring to the JMG page and flyer. I'm going to click OK to save the changes. Now the reference is gone. Let's return to our Junior Master Gardener page. Back on our JMG page, we can now click Delete Page again. The warning box pops up and we click Yes. The Master Gardener page opens, and since we already removed the reference links from the MG page, the JMG page deletes without any problem. It is no longer listed in the local navigation, and we won't have broken links on the Master Gardener page. We've just deleted a child page, but please know that if a higher level or parent page, like our Master Gardener page, is deleted, then any child pages under that parent page will also be deleted. Now, on a related note, if on the deleted page you were linking to PDF files like a flyer or had added images to that page, it's a good idea to delete those files from your content finder to help keep it better organized. For more information on deleting files, visit the OIT website. And now we're done with Delete Page. For any questions or further help with AEM, please email caesweb at uga.edu.